it is now 7 20 in the morning we had a very early morning with bash i tried to get him back down to sleep at 5 30 to see if we could possibly sleep in until 6 30 but that was a no-go <laughs> so we have been up for a while i've been cleaning i've been taking care of bash eating trying to get myself and my day started now bash is down for his first nap of the day and I'm just trying to get my head on straight. I feel like lately I have been busy but not productive, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm filling up a lot of my time and I feel like I don't have any time, but then at the same time I feel like I'm not getting anything that I want to get done done. And so just kind of been struggling with that lately, feeling like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I don't want to burn myself out, but I just feel like there's things that need to get done that I'm either avoiding or just like not getting done because I'm prioritizing other things. So I have actually seen a few people that I follow on Instagram and stuff, they've been posting about like schedule blocking where they'll go through their day and they'll like 30 minutes for this, baby wakes up now, you know, things like that. So I think I'm gonna try that today to see if it works for me, I guess, is the biggest thing. I have personal projects that I'm working on. I have lots of vlogs and doing a lot of prep for Vlogmas currently. And then I really need to finish school with guys. I keep debating if I'm gonna finish it all because it's an online program, so I only have like like I buy the class for like a year and that's when I have to finish it by. Coming up on that year mark and I'm like, I don't know if I want to finish, but I'm literally two and a half classes away. So I need to. <laughs> and I walked. <laughs> but ugh, it's just so hard. Online class is not my jam. I thought it would be because I work from home, I do my vlogs, I do photography, I can do all that. But it's because I love all those things, but yeah online classes. I don't. I don't love it. I need to just finish. I need to get it done. Anyhow, I'm gonna see if I can schedule block before Bash wakes up, but I really, really need to shower. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then come back, sit down, and kind of schedule block my day so that I have time, hopefully, for everything. Okay, so Bash is now awake, but he's just kind of chilling. So I think I have about 30-ish minutes before he'll need to eat again. So I'm gonna kind of let him chill out in his crib until he starts to fuss and then I'll get him out and then we'll get a bottle ready. But until then, I'm gonna do a little more cleaning up. But uh, yeah, okay. Okay, I actually decided instead of cleaning up, because I can clean up a little bit later, I'm going to just kind of plan out my day and do that like block scheduling. I'm going to see how this goes. I'm just going to make a note on my phone of kind of what I want today's schedule to be. So I kind of, I don't actually know how the blog scheduling works. I'm sure there's like a very specific way to do it, but I just kind of thought of things that I need to do today. I thought about Bash's schedule and like a lot about how long his naps are and things like that, as well as Ruben being home to help me with Bash and some of these. Okay, so I have my whole day planned out. Obviously, like not everything is super set with him because I just follow his cues, especially um, because he's actually sick right now. So he's not the happiest baby in the world. And so like I have all this independent playtime planned out, but it's obviously subject to change because he's a little bit um, needier right now because he's sick, he wants to be held more and just wants a little bit more attention than he normally does and that's totally fine. So this is obviously based on his normal like bash self, but it's obviously subject to change. If he wants to go to bed earlier, I'll put him down earlier. If at 10 a.m. he's not showing signs of being tired, I'm gonna keep him up. Um, so we'll just see how that plays out. Um, I'm actually gonna go get Bash right now and then we're gonna kind of get things going. Hey! Hi! Hey, Bash! 
Do you want a vlog? Look at you. Oh, you just want to eat it. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Okay, so we had a little outfit change because Sebastian spit up all over me. Yeah, he did, huh? But he has eaten and so now I'm going to do the dishes and then keep going with my schedule. Okay, so I just finished cleaning. I've been working for a few, well a few hours. I've been working for like an hour while Bash is asleep, but I thought he'd be up by now. He did wake up for a second, but I just put his pacifier back in because I just needed like, I literally needed like 10 more minutes, but then he ended up falling asleep again. So I probably have another like 30 to 40 minutes before he'll be up again. So I think I'm gonna um, start working on some stuff I had planned for this afternoon and try and get like a head start on a couple things. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> hello. Okay guys, it has been a couple of hours since I last vlogged and this is like not the best angle, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, ow. Anyhow, it has been a couple of hours since I last vlogged. Ruben got home and then Bash woke up from his nap and we went to BYU. They were having a fry bread sale, so we went and got some fry bread tacos and then we just walked around campus for a little bit and hung out. And then when we got home, Bash went down for a nap and I got to work. So here we are a few hours later. Bash just woke up and now we're just chilling on the floor, trying not to lose my weave, my baby. <laughs> okay, so it has been a couple hours. Bash is down at least for a little while more. I think he might wake up in like the next hour or so. Ruben is at the grocery store right now. He is grabbing stuff for dinner. We have been so bad lately about going grocery shopping. We did HelloFresh for a while and I loved it, but it's just not in our budget right now. But we were like, oh, well now we have all the recipes so we can remake the recipes at home. And we've only done that like a handful of times. And so we've really fallen, especially as past few weeks with all the traveling that we've been doing we've really fallen into like bad eating habits um we ate out a lot but right now we're trying to do another no spend challenge where we only allow ourselves to eat out once a week but when we eat at home we're falling back into like our habit of meat and potatoes or meat and rice and like not that that's bad it's just boring and after a while you just get over it so we've been following following falling <laughs> into that kind of routine again and I'm over it. But that was like my bad, our bad. We didn't meal plan this week. We didn't go grocery shopping this week. We have been super, super slacking. So next week will be better. I'll vlog us making dinner. Okay, well, I completely forgot to film us making dinner, but we got some spaghetti. Got the holiday baking championship on. We're ready. Yeah. 